Hi again, my name is Gleb Alexandro and today we're gonna continue with the game level texturing and geometry. First of all, we're gonna block out the basic shapes and for that reason I suggest you open blend swap and download something. I wanna build some underground environment, uh, so I'm searching for pipes, because, you know, every underground environment these days have pipes of some kind. This model is done by Amog, if I spell correctly his name, and is licensed under Creative Commons Zero. That means that we can do everything with it, even for commercial purposes, thank you. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the unnecessary stuff. For the demonstrational purposes I'm gonna leave only a few walls intact, but if I were making a full level, I would probably have left it untouched. So I'm deleting the very small details, joining the parts of geometry together and try to come up with the main shape of the level. During this stage everything can be made of cubes and planes and very basic primitives. The main purpose of this stage is to give us the overall impression of how the level would look like. Right now I'm extending some parts of the geometry, deleting other parts, moving the paces, it's very basic and very easy stuff. And when we're done with the blocking main shapes, it's time to move on to the optimization and retopology. Say we were freestyling geometry and now it's time to fit into some polygon budget for our game. Like going from 10,000 to 2,000 polygons. So the first thing we're gonna do is to dissolve the edge loops. Right now I'm selecting the every second edge loop. And if you have the very dense geometry you can select every, I don't know, two of the three edge loops and dissolve edges and dissolve vertices. Of course you can decimate stuff using decimate modifier, but this technique doesn't uh, destroy the shape of the model. And the model retains the edge flow, you can tweak it, you can unwrap it easily and all this stuff. So basically we're deleting polygons that don't contribute to the overall shape of the model. As you can see it's a very boring process, but it's okay to be bored by topology. It's completely fine. And that objects that couldn't be retopologized should be rebuilt from scratch. And sometimes it's easier to actually rebuild object than to retopologize it. For example, this model is nothing more than a cube with some extrusions. And it's no problem to do it from scratch. Very simple operations. Right now I'm adding some cuts, then I'm using bevel and extrude. And I'm using this technique to reconstruct all the objects that can be retopologized in another way. Alright, so what we're trying to do here is we, we're trying to fit into the polygon budget of our game. Say 3000 or 1000 polys. So first we block out the shapes and second we try to retopologize it and to optimize it. Right now you can see the fruits of our labor. 2800 vertices. Not bad. Alright, thanks for watching, it was Gleb Alexandro and stay tuned for the updates.